Welcome to the Anti Noise Experience Podcast, Endurance Noise and Random Musings. It's Friday afternoon in Smoky, California, and uh, it's August 21st, 2020. Um, saw an interesting article on Podium Runner talking about FKTs, and of course, I've talked quite a bit about FKTs recently here on the podcast um, with the Wonderland Trail uh, FKT going down, and of course, the granddaddy of them all, the Bad Water to Top of Whitney which Harvey Lewis just did. So, fastest known times are the original virtual races and are booming in COVID-19. Usually accomplished solo, even in normal times and often in remote locations, FK teams seem to immune to the ravages of COVID-19 shutdown and quarantines. Um, and that's the case, sort of, but the problem is some, a lot of these are being launched from small towns. And I know some of the small hiking towns up in the High Sierra are really getting impacted by COVID because people from out of the area are coming in and spreading it. Um, you know, so, you know, be safe out there. So there's a great FKT website that guys put together a few years ago, and you can search out and find existing routes, try and better it or create a new route. Route data can be submitted to the FKZs amidst either before the attempt is made or after it's accomplished. The day of the attempt, the logistics, navigation, and style, supported, unsupported, or self-supported are all up to the runner. You know, recently, uh, Courtney... To Walter, you know, she doesn't have any races, so she was trying to do the 500 miles of the Colorado Trail. She was doing a supported style. Um, unfortunately, when she was around Leadville area, she had some lung breathing issues and had to stop doing it. Um, it says FKTs have been providing virtual racing in the loo informally for the last 10 years on more formal platforms since 2018. Didn't take long for runners all trained up with nowhere to go to find their way to FKTs. Um, Globally, over the past two years, from 2018 to February 2020, the FKT website accrued 649 routes. From March to July, that number jumped to 1583. So, wow, yeah, you had only, for two years, you had 649, and then just the past five, three or four months, 1583 routes. Suing alone, where attempting FKTs has always been popular, at 52 routes pre-pandemic and added 33 new ones in the last five years months since march people around the world have set 815 new fkts and it says it's grown since the pandemic shut down by about three and a half times we've been crushed absolutely buried by data says buzz baldron buzz baldron like buzz aldron uh, buzz burrell is what his name is one of the three volunteers who manages the fkt website um so you know they're a crowdsource website we ask for donations we do what we do is crazy we do the same thing as virtual races for free um, there's a guy named James Harden, the world's most prolific FKT, 69 counting, cringes at the free part. They only ask for a $10 donation regardless of distance, which is a steal of a deal compared to race fees. It comes back to supporting people and organizations you believe in. I think FKTs motivate a lot of people to get outdoors and fit and to explore new places. That's worth supporting. Um, because it's, it's gotten more competitive, obviously. There are more fast people doing it. I mean, i.e. Courtney, Harvey. Um, Killian Jordan's gone out and done a lot of them. Um, so many, many people have been doing them lately. In the past, Michael Wardian does a lot of them. In fact, he's kind of inspired me. He's been doing some road ones on the East Coast. In the past, people did one or two, maybe three attempts a year. Now they're doing five or six in the summer. Turnover is a lot more, and then sometimes frustrating. Um, Burrell, who one of the guys from the FKT site, he says, FKT is a lot, it's like tofu. Tofu is not a meat substitute. It's terrific food in its own right. Tofu will probably stay in the minority compared to meat. That's an excellent option. No, it's not. To tofu's terrible. But <laughs> so all this kind of talk, um, you know, myself, as if you listen to podcasts, I'm not a big trail fan. You know, been out there. I get it. People like to be out in the woods and alone. It's kind of an instinctual thing. Me, it's boring. You know, I'm out there and after a while, I'm like, hey, it's trees and rocks, rocks and trees. And where's the Internet? Where's my power source? So I'm not a big, you know, I'm not a big hiker. I like doing one day epic hikes like the Grand Canyon Rim to Rim Rim, Ray Lakes Loop or um, Whitney, but not been much a fan of the, you know, backpacking. I was supposed to go backpacking this year, but with my friends who I am going to support, um, the High Sierra Trail is about 70 miles where you go from Sequoia to the top of Whitney and down, but I just can't climb right now. I've got issues with uh from my congestive heart failure that I just don't have a top end right now. I'm really good on the flats. And so that got me to thinking, and, you know, I'm kind of like going to do a little FKT tomorrow. It's not, I don't, I don't think I'll even post it because, you know, no one's going to come to Bakersfield and try and beat my FKT of going to east, north, south, and west high schools from Beach Park, but just kind of something fun for myself to do. Um, but I've heard about this one um, through hike 
and I've been wanting to do it, even though I'm not a big stairs fan. And it's called the Inman 300, the world's first urban through hike. And um, they had an article in the magazine a while back and it says, um, what is the Inman 300? It's been called the world's first urban through hike. There's no trail or signs to follow, but there is more or less official route. The Inman 300 gets its name from the creator, Bob Inman, and roughly the public stairways incorporated in the route. In fact, Inman worked hard to incorporate as many Los Angeles public stairways as possible, which in part accounts for the crazy zigzag and turns around the route. Uh, I guess back in uh, 2013, uh, hiker Liz Snorkel Thomas completed the Inman and, and um, kind of was public dominated. Her, her trip was 180 miles and she did it in five and a half days. Um, then they put out a book. I just bought the book. It's pretty nice. It, the, the course he's got now has got, um, uh, it's 218 miles with 344 public stairways. It's roughly the same length as John Muir. And though it follows sidewalks and streets, you can actually gain two or 3,000 feet of elevation a day. So I'm thinking of heading down there. I think I'll just take a bus. I think it starts off on the east side and finishes up on the coast where you can do it the other way. I did get the guide, which is pretty good. Of course, hiking around Los Angeles, if you've been to LA, is not the safest thing in the world anymore, unfortunately. Um, you know, there's sections of, down, of Los Angeles, as Adam Crowell talks about, that are just huge homeless encampments. So if I do do this, I think I'll do kind of a, a page out of the 3100 mile race in New York City, where they shut the course down from midnight to 6 a.m. And I think I would pretty much just like, um, get an Airbnb for the couple of days I'm down there and then just take like a Lyft and Uber, if Lyft and Uber are actually still around when I decide to do this, there's big controversy with Lyft and Uber. It's a court case because they wanna make uh, the uh, Lyft and Uber drivers become actual employees of Lyft and Uber. So looking into doing this, definitely have to uh, plan it out, but you know, I won't be, even though it's three, 218 miles, I know LA pretty good. It's really only covering maybe about a 50 miles radius. So I could definitely kind of like start my hike and just get a Airbnb in the middle. That's my dumb phone just going crazy, people. It's my gals on the High Sierra Trail all talking about their trip because it's coming up September 3rd. So if you got some FKT information or uh, you are, or want to talk, uh, definitely get a hold of me on social media and please subscribe also to my. YouTube channel. And as always, stay healthy, be boring, not epic.